Like, he said something very important. They know, people be knowing what time it is. I have a lot of mixed feelings about this. Um, so, Frank Martin, what do we do now? Where do we go? What is it you want to do now? Why are you in boxing? What are you fighting for? I need to know why you're fighting. I need to know why you're even in the sport of boxing. You're in one of the best lightweight divisions. 135. Yeah? the best, One of the best divisions in boxing. And you had the biggest fight given to you. You've been offered quadruple your pay. Yeah? This is your first shot at a title. You're 28 years old. You know, and you're the mandatory for that WBC belt, and you've had the opportunity to fight for it, and you've turned it down because you want 50 50. But this is your first ever title shot. This is your first ever time on the big screen. People are going to know your name. You're not a household name in boxing. Respectfully, respect Frank Martin. Um, I think he's awesome. I think he's a good fighter. He started boxing at 18. So, you know, he's had to work his way up. He's had to train hard. He's had to do all those, all these things to be where he is. You know, he's had a tougher, tougher, um, harder route than Shakur just due to the fact that he started boxing, um, at a later age. So, I just want to know, like, bro, you, you, you done it, bro. You made it. And you, you've been given the opportunity to fight for something big. And you turned it down. So, listen, yeah, I'm not going to say you're ducking Shakur. And um, I'm not going to say you're ducking to call until we know who you're fighting. I, I need to know who you're fighting next. Because if you're fighting some unknown Russian guy we've never heard of from, I don't know, wherever he's from. If you're fighting some random Donny in your next fight for only like, what? I don't know. Just a little a couple pennies. Then I, 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 I'm not going to lie. That, that, this was a duck. Yeah, this was a duck. Um... And um, that word duck is strong because, you know, of course this is a financial situation. This you wanted more money and you felt like you you deserve more. But the, you have to you have to look at the situation. You have to be realistic, yeah. Frank Martin, you don't. I, I, and I do. I mean this with all respect. You don't have, you don't have stardom power to be asking for fifty fifty when this is your first title shot. I mean, Shakur Stevenson. Yeah, he's done a lot. He's done a lot to get where he's to where he's at. He he, he does have a a, a a name in boxing, not as big as Tank, but he does have a name. He does he does have a, a, a respect to the hardcore boxing fans. Everybody knows Shakur nice in the ring. Um, he has beat Jamal Herron. He has beat Oscar Valdez. He's won titles in multiple weight classes. Bro, Shakur deserves that. He deserves that. Now, Shakur Stevenson needs to also accept. Um, needs to look at himself as well and be like, you know what? Devin Haney offered me the same deal of 25% and uh, I didn't like it. So why am I offering Frank Martin? I think that's something Shakur needs to be like, you know what? You, sh uh, you know what? I didn't like how Devin Haney offered me 25%. So I can understand why Frank Martin turned it down. Like he doesn't feel like he's, he's that's his worth. And res hey, respect. But at the same time, yeah. What happened to actually going out and proving your worth? And, and, and let me say this. They don't believe it. That's either. why That's why you got to respect somebody like Errol Spence. Exactly. You got to respect him because respect him. he took a nice ass with it, man. Just keeping it real. And he was not stopping.